uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and you want to be a square on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and shit, bitch, you either going to hoe up or blow up, bitch. Let me tell you something, man. You either going to be a prostitute or you going to be a perpetrator, man, and you a perpetuate, man. You just in the two family, man. You just in the two family, man. So look, you either all the way in it or leave it alone. Welcome to the LifeScope channel. On your way in, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It's appreciated as always. First off, I want to say happy belated Father's Day. Hope all of the dads enjoyed their day. Have you all seen the video of Nessa off the Bernie Mac show talking about her OnlyFans? Well, if you haven't seen it, watch this. Oh, those Bernie Mac checks must have dried up or like from a job 20 years ago when I was a 12 year old. Yeah, like, duh. Mm. <laughs> Cause um, we think there's, we think the residuals are still coming through though. I mean, they do, but it's not, we weren't, yeah. I wasn't, listen, if I was on friends making a million dollars an episode, yes, those residual checks would still be very nice. But as time goes on, they get smaller and smaller every year. You're not making the same amount that you were when the show was current per episode. Right. So as someone who was just a kid, um, don't get me wrong, still making good money. Mm -hmm. But 20 years later, those checks are not sustainable for a living. Um, with the industry being as fickle as it is, you can't count on any job to last or even to book a job. So over the years, I have done regular nine to fives. Um, oh, wow. I owned an ice cream shop for wow. three years when I was a teenager. Wow. Um, and I funded that with my own money. Um, I taught gymnastics to kids where I was making uh, like 11, $12 an hour. So I've done that. Wow. Um, but if I can find a way to make enough to buy a home from the comfort and safety of my own living room, why wouldn't I do that? Now, I'll admit I was one of those people who said, why is she doing OnlyFans? She can't get another acting job. But after hearing how hard it is for actors, particularly child actors, I'm like, hey, get your money. However, if most of us have seen someone grow up on television, I think we do associate them with the character they played. So from that standpoint, it's weird to hear that the actress Camille Winbush went from Nessa to an OnlyFans page. Or maybe not. So good luck, Nessa. I mean, Camille Winbush. And I feel what she is saying. Those Bernie Mac checks aren't hitting like they used to. And everything is steadily going up. Now, I want to talk about a crazy female that has been spiraling for a while. So let's take a quick look at how it started. You're watching The Isaiah Factor, uncensored. Men truly just need to extend their emotional vocabulary so they can flourish and have meaningful, healthy relationships. But instead, y'all li listening to these Kevin you, can you Samuel ass and it's leaving you 50 and alone. You just heard from Shabri Rawls. She's a licensed professional counselor in Cleveland, and this same video cost her her job. The passionate rant was inspired by an article written about men becoming more lonely. Her commentary has also ironically started more online debates, specifically about mental health, therapists, and black men. Let's talk about it tonight. So Todd, taking a look at those videos, was it what she said or how she said it. Following Psychology Today's publication of The Rise of Lonely Single Men, licensed therapist Rawls took to TikTok to express her opinions. 
She had no idea that the video would result in her termination. Ultimately, her suggestion was that treatment would be beneficial for men as a whole. After the therapist stunt on TikTok, she was criticized in less than 48 hours from the internet. And I do have to add, who the hell was going to her for help? She doesn't look experienced enough for life or wise enough to give real advice. I seriously want to know what man was going to her. So, since then, Shabri Rawls has been trying to find ways to pay that rent. Hi, bitches. How you doing? So, I'm sick as fuck. Should I be laying the fuck down? Absolutely. But I feel like I need to share some very important information with y'all. Because y'all come over here trying to like better yourselves, right? And we talk about dating and shit, right? Well, I'm going to give you a list. I have a running list of types of dudes that I stopped dating to achieve enlightenment. Maximum level peace. Like, my hair not falling out. None of that crazy shit. Strap in, bitch. I was going to do this in parts, but this shit going to save a life. So... Share this shit, and if you dating a motherfucker like this, ooh, bitch, run. All right, number one, types of men I stopped dating to find peace. Uh, you can find this list on Twitter. I just feel like it didn't get the recognition that it deserves, so I'm going to address it over here. Number one, broke boys slash bums. My ex was a bum, and I paid for everything. You don't want to do that. Narcissistic. My ex was also a fucking narcissist. It is a fate worse than death. Promise you that. Entitled. If a man does not know how to take no shit, I'm out of breath. For an answer, fuck that man. Don't fuck that man. Fuck that man. Throw him out like the garbage he fucking is. Alright, next. Uh, ones who choose struggle. Baby, it's not cute living in the fucking trenches. That shit's raggedy as hell. Number, whatever, rappers. Don't date rappers. They'll cheat on you. No sense of humor. A lot of y'all are not haha -ha funny men, and it shows. Business owners who use their business to solicit coochie. Y'all are an extra level special of weird. Um, hype beast obsessed with brands. Please find another hobby. It's very weird and late stage capitalism is not cute, baby. Did I say insecure? Insecure. They'll tear you down every fucking chance they get because they don't like themselves. All right, hates his mother. I don't need to explain that. If he hates his mom, he definitely fucking hates you, bitch. Uh, unresolved issues with his father. Okay with mediocrity resides in their ego. Some of these motherfuckers won't let their ego die, so therefore they won't allow themselves to heal the bullshit that they be perpetuating all the fucking time. Do not be around a motherfucker who lives in their ego all the damn time, bitch. Coming in hot, deadbeats, because they don't deserve happiness. Next, felons, specifically who caught a body. Now, if you just got some, like, whatever weird shit, bitch, get that shit expunged. I'm trying to travel. I don't need therapy ass motherfuckers. Mm, you do. You got trauma. And you're not about to release that shit in my coochie, bitch. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Uh, speaking of using my coochie, using coochie for a void. Instead of going to talk to the lady, you squirt your depression in my body and then now I'm sad. And you're still sad because you didn't address the root issue, which is your dad. Uh, let's see. Drives a Chevy. Any of them. Any of them. He drives a Chevy, bitch. Drive away. Uh, let's see what's next. Has a high baby mama to child ratio. That, don't deal with it, bitch. You think he's gonna think you're special? No. You're just gonna be added to the motherfucking roster for the basketball team. Has a podcast. Don't need to explain that one. Dead beats again. Dead beats again. Um, ask, what do I bring to the table? Bitch, y'all decorate with LED lights. Please shut your bitch ass up. Again, who is going to her for help? Well, to keep things afloat, I saw online that Rawls has made her way to selling that thing on OnlyFans. She is really cringe, but do you, girl? It seems like the former therapist was projecting a lot. Instead of seeking help herself, she wants to trauma dump on her audience. Good luck to her as well. I hope she finds a therapist to talk to. I want to move on to another Ho Up or Blow Up episode. Terrell Lewis. Oh my god. In the now viral video that Mia shared, Terrell Lewis is seen having some late night fun with an escort. However, after the deed was completed, Terrell allegedly attempted to leave quickly without paying. To put it mildly, this escort was not having any of it. You can tell she is a stomp down hoe. She ran barefoot and was fast as hell, or maybe Terrell was just slow. For Terrell to be an NFL player, 
It looks like he couldn't shake Cybergirl Mia. Now, although we can't see his face in the video, so we will say allegedly it's Terrell Lewis. The hoes knew something was up because he got on a hoodie in the hotel room. Like they knew he was going to try something. And who was the other female filming the whole thing? Now Terrell, you know that's not right. Running out on those ladies like that. While the pro football player has gone quiet on social media, Mia is sharing intimate details and she has added Terrell's team, the league, and coaches. So this could potentially turn into him facing some consequences behind this. Anyway, let me know what you think and don't forget to support the channel until next time.